Getting a bit embarrassed. I cannot believe I'm sitting here right now filming a YouTube video. The last time I uploaded was three months ago. And yesterday on Instagram, I did one of those like stories where you say upload a photo when, and then all my followers were sending me like photos of like, when you had long hair or a photo of you and Michael or, and it got me like going through all of my old photos and it really just brought back so many amazing memories. And it made me just really miss the relationship that I have with you guys on my YouTube channel. And I think me being really inconsistent, that's obviously really hard to keep a good relationship. So I don't know. I just thought, oh my God, I need to jump on YouTube and I need to catch up with you all. And I'm so happy to be here. Oh my God. When I first started making videos, I did it in my room. So I thought what better way to come back than to be doing it in front of my bed. And I'm so obsessed with my room. This is like my relaxation zone, just chill time. So I thought this would be the perfect place to do it. It's bringing back old memories. Anyways, I went through my makeup cupboard and I got rid of nearly all of my makeup. So this right here is pretty much all I have. I have a couple of other things. So this is like OG. I keep buying the same stuff and I'm like sticking to it. I used to always like play with makeup, new products, and I don't know, I just don't enjoy that anymore because I just have the stuff that works really well for me and I don't really sit there and play with makeup anymore. So yeah, I feel like it's just not really my thing to keep testing out new products anymore. Like that, that era is, is done. Okay, first up, I'm using the Pro Filter by Fenty Beauty. I've gone through like three of these. I don't ever like touching like anything that's sticky. So I'm using a little paddle brush. Two little pumps, we're gonna brush it all over. My skin has been very interesting lately. But in saying that, when I was watching old YouTube videos last night, nostalgic AF, I saw a lot of videos where I had like really, really bad acne and I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, my skin has definitely improved since then. And now I'm actually off the pill. It's not the best right now. I'm seeing a naturopath to try and fix all of the hormones and everything. This is the Bounce Liquid Whip Longwear Foundation. I've been using this for so many years. It's actually kind of a sick joke. Uh, I use the shade 3.65N and also 210. I mix them together. So I'm going to be taking this sponge. This one's from... I think it's an ultra beauty beauty blender. I've actually replaced the beauty blender one. Is that crazy or what? Who am I? All right, let's do. <gasps> okay, first of all, my stomach is going absolutely crazy. And second of all, I just sprayed foundation all over my white linen sheets. No. Careful, Shani. Jesus. I actually start with my foundation now because I don't really ever do crazy eyeshadow, so I don't have to worry about fallout. And I still bounce really fast on my face. Jacob said to me the other day, he's like, it looks like you're doing that in fast motion. And I'm like, yeah, that's a thing. It's always been a thing. I hardly ever do crazy, like, full glam makeup anymore. So I'm definitely just going to do, like, my go-to makeup look when I want to feel really cute. It's been the same for so long. Let me tell you one thing for free. So when I was writing a list of all the YouTube videos that I want to film this year, and when I realized that so many people always ask for like mukbangs, whether it's Taco Bell, Macca's, KFC, I was like, <gasps> easy. I'm a hungry queen right now. So that is just, oh, I'm so excited to film that, guys. You have no idea. Any excuse for that? Ultimate box now. This tan's wet, so I might look a bit dodge. I'm just loving tan now. The two hour express. I've got some like black stuff from the mitt in my creases. Kind of concerning my soul. Only concealer I have in my collection, the Fenty Beauty 280. Oh, that! Ow! I just scratched my finger. The Fenty Beauty Pro Filter in 280. So I'm just gonna put that right there. I'm so sad that Bindi isn't in here right now. She's downstairs with leash. Oh, this one's a good one. It is by Refi. It's in the shade Sand. This is like a cream contour. As you can see, it's very loved. I'm just going to pop my bum in there. I love this so much. Yeah, so life has just been honestly crazy lately. If you don't keep up with me on Instagram, then you probably have no idea what I've been doing with myself. And this video is probably really random to you because I just... I don't even remember the last time I posted a makeup look. Actually, no, I did go have a look... Um, on my YouTube yesterday and it was a year ago. <gasps> You've got to laugh, otherwise you'll just cry. I've just been working so hard on my brand Silk Swim and it's been taking up literally all of my time. It's 
crazy, but I'm so passionate about doing it. It makes me so happy. Um, but so does this, like I so just like connecting with you guys, being creative and all of that. So yeah, I'm gonna try my best moving forward to post more. This is a good one as well. This is the Refi Cream Blush in the shade Citrine. Clearly love that one as well. I have just been going so overboard with my blush lately and I love every second of it. I just love how it gives you like a natural flush, you know? Looks so good. Because when you put foundation on it, just like covers all of the natural tones in your face. It's so weird because I always try and cover like the pink, pink tones in my face and then I'll just put it back on. In a more desired area, I guess. <sighs> Honestly, it's just so crazy to me how different things are to back in the day. Like so many of you guys have said that you've been around since... I was on Tumblr, which is like, I don't know, high school or primary school for me. And I'm 25 this year. 25. I'm getting old. Like, should I be considering having kids soon? I don't understand. Because when I was younger, I always wanted to have kids when I was like 23. I'm only 25. And I don't want kids yet. I'm just going to wait until I'm in my early 30s I think or really late 20s all right I'm gonna set under my eyes with the La Prairie powder it's still going strong the first time I ever used that was in a video where I tried the most expensive makeup items and would you guess I it's all I use now but it's lasted me like so long like so long that I would think that it would be off I just got a new one, so it's fine. And then with the rest, I'm just gonna set the rest of my face. Now time for a little bit of blush. This is the MAC blush in the shade Margin. Ooh, this brush is dirty. I'm just gonna lightly pat that on. Because if I move it, my, my sweat is going to peel it off. Oh, no! MAC, give me some. Still. I'm kind of embarrassed that this is still happening. Um, this is a like, this is a new one, and I feel like it's a little bit more orange than the old one. I don't know if that's real or if that's in my head. <gasps> As if this is still kicking. So I'm gonna go in with the Soft Glam Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette. It's just like the OG for me. I got rid of like all of my Morphe palettes donated them, gave them away to my friends, like really just gone forever. I don't know, I don't like clutter. So I'm just gonna add this in my crease. Same old, and then I'm gonna fluff it out here. That cat eye look. I was saying on my stories the other day that, actually I don't think I did end up posting this, but I've been considering getting my boobs, because I got a boob job like four years ago or something. And I would love to get them a bit smaller. I don't know if recently they've gotten bigger or if it's because I'm putting on weight or something. I don't know. There's, unless I just feel like they're getting bigger and they're actually not. I'm not sure. But I would love for my boobs to be just a couple sizes smaller. So I'm a D cup now. I mean, even a C, like a small C would be unreal. But imagine actually going through that whole process just to get a couple sizes smaller. Like it's not going to happen. I'm just gonna have to wait until I've had them for 10 years and then do it then. <laughs> oh, look at the palette. So I first went in with a shade Burnt Orange and then a little bit of Rustic on like the crease area and then Tempura, the white shade. I'm just gonna pop that all over my lid, mainly on like the inner corner, just so it makes my eyes look a little bit bigger. I just use a big blending brush so it just like diffuses softly. I like to put it up here as well. Gives an illusion of a bigger lid. Okay, I'm gonna go back in the shade Rustic again and I'm just gonna ooh, create a little bit of a winged liner. Every time I do more of like the full glam type of makeup, I always do winged liner and I've been doing it for a couple of years now. Do you remember when back in the day, if you used to watch my videos, when I would try and do eyeliner, it would always be like a big fat, thick slug and it never ever looked good. Now it's so easy for me to do because I use this little angled brush always. It's by Zoeva, it's the 317 winged liner brush and I all cut me off. I always use eyeshadow uh, because it's so much easier and I've never tried eyeliner, like liquid liner. It's too hard.
Wow, I really didn't go up. I went out, didn't I? I love that I just talk myself up and then I literally never ever do this shaped eyeliner. Honestly, whatever. Moving on to mascara. I'm going to go in with the... Wow, I sound like such a makeup like guru. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Pat McGrath Mascara. This is the Dark Star Mascara. I love this one so much. It's gorge. And the packaging. Oh, stunning. So, my new favorite thing is individual lashes. Remember when, like, the strip lashes were a thing? I mean, I don't know if people still wear them as much as individuals or even at all. But I'm so obsessed with how individual lashes look. Cause it looks so much more natural. You can get really long ones, so they're still long. But I like to leave my eyelashes looking kind of gappy. So my eyes look bigger. Because I notice when I do, like, strip lashes, it would just be, like, a big black strip. I don't know. I just really like how it... You can really customize when you use the individual little cuties. The ones from Huda Beauty were amazing because they were so long. Now for my little babies, I'm taking the Model Rock lashes. These are the regular styled individual long knotted lashes. So I've just let my lash glue dry for like 15 seconds. And now I'm just going to go in and fill in the little gappies and make my eyelash a little bit longer. This really does make such a difference. I don't really do eyelashes that often unless I'm going out out, which is hardly ever. One down, 20 to go. I really only put them on the outer corners as well. Fun fact, I did, okay, I can't even concentrate when I'm doing this. Um, I just bought myself a treadmill for my garage. So I have a little like gym set up and I'm so excited to get back into it because I I was a bit unwell for like a couple of months, like just so lethargic. I never had energy. So that's when I got all of my like, you know, hormones and everything tested. Still like something's a bit up, but like, as I said before, I've got to figure it out still. Um, but yeah, after like all that time, I'm like, I just really want to get back into the gym and I have a membership at a gym and I just, I just don't feel comfortable training at a gym. Like I never have. And when I was in ISO last time, when I still lived here, I think it was like two years ago, but in a different house, um, I had a gym in my garage in ISO and I literally worked out every single day. I loved it. I just don't like people looking at me when I'm working out. I don't know. I feel like it's very personal and I just don't like anyone seeing. So now that I have my gym, I've already worked out twice this week when usually like I went five months without training. Nah, that's dramatic. It was probably, it was two months, but I don't know. I just feel so much more comfortable and I'm so lucky that I can obviously I'm in a position where I can buy myself a treadmill. I'm such a little house hermit. At this stage, I'm just never going to leave the house again. Got a gym, my office is here, everything. Well, we're going to do some mascara later to make them a little bit longer. But for right now, I'm going in with my brow pencil. This is the brow styler by Benefit, shade 3. I got my brows laminated a couple weeks ago. They're just starting... Oh, no, no. They're just starting to go down. It was good while it lasted, that's for sure. Take that little arch right there. <gasps> Have you guys seen the Netflix series, Emily in Paris? I am so obsessed with it. I just finished it the other day. I was watching it every night after work and holy heavens, it is so good. It's honestly the best. I can't wait till they bring out another season because the ending of that. <laughs> All right, I'm taking the Refi Brow Gel. Ooh. <laughs> and I'm going to set my brows upwards. This is nearly empty. I've had this for so long. Every time I brush my brows up, Jacob always tries, like, fakes it, but tries to brush them down. Not today, Satan. All right, maybe I went a little bit too far there, but that's okay. Look at this. I sharpened this slip pencil, and it is a twisty top. So I've ruined it, but still an amazing color. I cannot swap over to any other. This is just the best nude. I ended up having to get my lips dissolved again after getting them dissolved last time because I have a natural skin pocket above my lip right here. It sucks so bad. That's what happens if you go to the wrong people to get your lips done for like five years. It stretched my skin. I also was going back and looking at old photos of my lips and I literally look like I got stung by a bee. Example A. 
I mean, I was going to say, why didn't anyone tell me? But I feel like they probably did. A lot of people did. I, just, I didn't realize. Like, I never looked at myself and went, whoa, they look swollen. But now that I've got them dissolved and this has gone back down, I'm like, holy shit. That is so bad. I talk to Siri that much that when I'm looking for something, I say, hey, I think to myself, I'm about to say, hey, Siri, where's my lipstick? Because I always lose my phone and I ask her where she is. I know that's my lipstick, so I'm going to reply to me. So, hey, Siri, where's my lipstick? Help me. Here's what I found. Kind of Sexy by MAC. It's so good. Oh, it's very pink. I didn't realize I'm gonna go back in with my lip liner and just make the edges a little bit more brown. I lost my really good lipstick in one of my bags. I just went and looked through so many of them and I cannot find it. To make it a little bit more nude, I'm taking the Dose of Colors lip gloss. Oh, it doesn't even have the sticker, the name of it on there because I've had it for that long. It's probably off. Oh, that smells like glue. That's so annoying. I've actually had that for like over six years and I don't want to put it on my mouth because then I'm going to lick it off. Oh. When was the last time you cleaned out your makeup collection? Because when I cleaned out mine, I had stuff there that was honestly like six years old. And then even the other day when I was cleaning out like my spice rack, there was stuff in there from like 2018 and I'm like, oh, Wow, that's actually scary that I've probably eaten that many times. Okay, I'm gonna go put on some cute jewelry and change my top and I'll be back. My hair is done. Um, I had so much fun filming today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you made it to the end of the video, I love you so much. If you do wanna see more videos like this, please give this a thumbs up. I don't even know if that's a thing. I'm pretty sure it is still, right? But yeah, I think that is pretty much all for this video. I love you all so, so much. And I cannot wait to upload again next. <laughs> Let's have a little chat in the comments. I'm gonna be in my comments for like half an hour to an hour as soon as I upload this video. So if you're watching this just as I upload, let's have a chat. I miss you guys and I love you and I'll speak to you soon. Mwah. Bye. Ooh, should I show you a little close up of the makeup? It looks so good. So tan. I love it. Mwah. Okay. Bye.